Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss the benefits of lattice multiplication. So, traditional multiplication is typically taught in a format that looks like this. We're starting the bottom number on the right hand side. This digit is multiplied by each digit on the top. And then we repeat the process, the next digit over, and sum them up. Lattice multiplication looks a little different. We write one number along the top of a rectangle, and the other number along the side. Then we divide up a rectangle into boxes. We'll further divide our rectangle angle by drawing a diagonal line through each of our new squares, running from bottom left to upper right. Then here, what we do is we take each digit and multiply it by the digit along the top and write it into this box here. Here, 1 times 2 is 2. We'll express that 0 and 2. 2 times 9 is 18. We'll express that as a 1 and an 8, naturally. And since it's the same number, we can simply copy down our results. Then 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Now here, what we're going to do is add up numbers diagonally downwards and record our results. Here we only have one number, so we just write that, 7. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So we write a 3 here. And we'll just make a little 1 in the bottom of this box. So we carry over the 10. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus 2 is 12. We write a 2 here and carry the 1 again. Then 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. Then to get our result, we simply read off our numbers in this order. So it becomes 4, 2, 3, 7. And of course, if you multiply it out using a traditional method, you'll get the same result as you would if you did it on the calculator. So the question is, what are the benefits of using this method? Well, first off, it breaks the problem down into much smaller chunks than this way does, which can be very beneficial for some students who have a difficult time processing large sets of instructions. It's very simple to add up a very small set of numbers and then record the results. Also, it is arguably a little bit easier to keep track of where you're carrying your numbers over. For example, in this notation, 9 times 3 is 27. It's not clear what is the best way to carry over this 2. Should we do it here? Then it can be somewhat confusing. You might think that this is the same thing as this, that we've already completed that step. This notation, it's very clear where our carried, number, carried over numbers go. And finally, if one is teaching a student a new techniques such as multiplication, it's good to have multiple methods available. If a student doesn't understand this traditional representation, it may be the case that lattice representation works well, or vice versa. It's always good to have an arsenal of different techniques that you can use. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed what are the benefits of lattice multiplication.